Keeping It Real is an expression of opinion from the editorial board of WDBD Fox 40 and is presented by Vice President and General Manager Ramona Clay Alexander. As we embrace fall season in Mississippi, you know it's a time for celebration for Jackson State University football in our great state and the city of Jackson. The positive economic impact for the city and the state is significant with a multitude of visitors flocking from all corners of the country to partake in this vibrant tailgating culture, reunite with classmates, and immerse themselves in the game day atmosphere. However, I recently attended a JSU game this past Saturday, and the traffic challenges getting into the game to park, well, it was a hot mess. Let me be clear, there was no law enforcement agency directing traffic on Woodrow Wilson and State Street. Now, if anyone showed up, it would have had to be pretty late. Historically, the JSU versus Southern game, it brings thousands of visitors and fans to the city. And this past weekend, well, it was no exception. It's a well-established event, and the city and the state should have been better prepared to deal with the traffic on the main thoroughfares of Woodrow Wilson and North State which was a hot mess. Now understand me clearly, once you got on the stadium property to park, there were plenty of hardworking parking attendants to help assist with parking. But trying to get to the designated parking areas, well, that was just a terrible disaster. It's time to address the issue at hand, the lack of clear authority for traffic control on game days. And keeping it real, who should it be? Should it be the city of Jackson? Should it be Jackson State Security? Capitol Police, the Mississippi Highway Patrol, or the Sheriff's Department. The absence of a coordinated effort was evident, and this needs to be rectified to ensure a smoother traffic flow. You know what? It's high time for the leadership to step up and take charge. It's unacceptable that an event of this magnitude lacked proper traffic direction. The positive impact of these games should be a driving force for all the agencies to ensure smooth traffic operations. By calling for leadership to take charge, well, we empower ourselves and bring about the necessary changes for future JSU games. And let me add one more footnote. Departing the stadium at the end of the game was just as frustrating as arriving. There was no one to direct traffic. I am Ramona Alexander, and as always, thank you for listening and watching Fox 40. This has been an expression of opinion from the WDBD Fox 40 editorial board. WDBD Fox 40 invites you to share your own opinions with us at feedback at fox40tv.com or call the Keeping It Real feedback line at 601-965-7540. Find this editorial in the Keeping It Real section of fox40jackson.com.